Welcome to Movies We Love Recapped. Today we will explore a 2016 thriller entitled The Boy. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's free and it really helps the channel. Thanks. Here we go. As we begin, we meet an American woman named Greta. She has traveled to the UK after being hired as a nanny by a rich family. Upon her arrival, she immediately takes off her shoes and explores the mansion. Suddenly, she is startled by a man named Malcolm, who is a local delivery guy. Malcolm invites Greta for a tour, and not long after, an elderly woman, Mrs. Hilsher, the house owner's wife, arrives. Mrs. Hilsher asks where Greta's shoes are. Greta shows where she had taken them off and is surprised to find them gone. Mrs. Hilsher casually says it is probably her son's doing. Then Mrs. Hilsher invites Greta to meet her husband, Mr. Hilsher. She also introduces her to the boy she is supposed to babysit. But to her surprise, this boy turns out to be a porcelain doll named Brahms. Greta laughs, thinking it's a joke, but Mrs. Hilsher and Mr. Hilsher look serious. Mrs. Hilsher tells Greta that many nannies had applied for the job, but Brahms turned them down because they were neither young nor beautiful. The Hilshers teach Greta how to care for Brahms, leaving her a list of strict rules to follow. This includes reading to Brahms in a loud and clear voice, playing music for him, keeping the leftovers in the fridge, setting up a mousetrap, and giving Brahms a goodnight kiss. Mrs. Hilsher tells Greta that Brahms is shy and only moves when no one is watching. Mr. and Mrs. Hilsher then ask Brahms his opinion on Greta. Before long, the two of them come out and tell Greta that Brahms likes her and he wants her to babysit him. Greta calls her sister to tell her about her experience in the house. The following day, Greta hears Mrs. Hilsher, who is angry because it turns out that Brahms ransacked his room. Then Mrs. Hilsher comes, saying that they are going on vacation, leaving Greta alone with Brahms. Mr. Hilsher shows Greta some schedules for the next few days. After they leave, Greta ignores the rules, leaving Brahms alone. That night, Greta wakes up hearing strange noises and immediately looks for the source. While standing in front of a painting, a hand suddenly reaches out. It turns out to be just a bad dream. Then Greta checks into Brahms' room and sees tears welling up in his eyes. When examined, it turns out that the ceiling is leaking. That night, suddenly Greta gets a call. When she picks it up, no one speaks. In the morning, Malcolm comes to deliver groceries, and Greta asks a few questions about Brahms. Malcolm tells her that Brahms was once a real boy and was the only child of Mr. and Mrs. Hilsher. But then, one day, their house caught fire, and after not being able to escape in time, Brahms passed away. The doll is simply a coping mechanism for the family to deal with their loss. Malcolm then asks her out on a date. Greta agrees. She gets ready for the date while on the phone with her sister. Greta sees that Brahms is watching her, and she closes the door. After showering, she is surprised to find that her hair has been cut, and her dress and necklace are missing. She rushes to look for them, and is lured to the attic by strange noises. She climbs the ladder, and suddenly the attic ladder closes by itself. Greta is locked inside. Malcolm comes to pick up Greta, and she shouts for help, but Malcolm can't hear her, and he leaves puzzled. Greta then tries to find another way out. Suddenly, a huge shadow appears in front of her. She faints from the shock. In the morning, when Greta wakes up, she is mysteriously let out. She explains to Malcolm what happened the night before. It turns out that the ladder can close and open on its own. Greta asks Malcolm about Brahms once again, and he states that there are two rumors about Brahms. There are some people in the town who feel sorry for him, as they remember him being a very good little boy. But on the other hand, there are others who claim that the boy was evil. Later that night, Greta calls her sister again. Her sister tells her that her abusive ex-boyfriend named Cole has been trying to find out where she is. Greta gets ready for bed and brushes her teeth. Just as she finishes, she hears a strange noise from Brahms' room. She approaches, and the room is seen as a mess, with a lot of paper scattered. She straightens Brahms' head, which is tilted, and suddenly the head moves by itself. But it is just another nightmare. The next day, Greta goes to Brahms' room and sees that Brahms has changed his position. He sits with her schedule beside him, as if he is asking Greta to obey and do everything as scheduled. Greta, who is shocked, immediately runs to a room 
and tries to call her sister. Suddenly the phone rings. As Greta answers the phone, a child's voice is heard telling Greta to follow the rules. Then a shadow appears under the door, and a child's voice is heard. Greta opens the door and sees a tray with a sandwich that Brahms has given her. Greta has mixed feelings. It turns out that Brahms doesn't want to hurt her, he just wants her attention. She then calls Malcolm and tells him about it, but Malcolm doesn't take her seriously. A scene later reveals Mr. and Mrs. Hilscher writing a letter to Brahms, which states, We cannot bear to live with what you have become. The girl is yours now. After writing this letter, both Mr. and Mrs. Hilscher stuff their coats with rocks and commit suicide. Greta now realizes that Brahms is only the spirit of an innocent young boy who wants to be cared for. She then starts caring for Brahms and doing the things entrusted to her. The following day, Malcolm comes with a letter from the Hilshers. He also asks Greta out for a walk that evening. However, Greta now feels responsible for Brahms and refuses Malcolm's invitation. Disappointed, Malcolm leaves. Greta is then surprised by Brahms, who can move places by himself. The following day, Greta asks Malcolm to come to the house. She wants to show that Brahms is actually alive. At first, she fails to prove it, because the doll only moves when no one is watching. But eventually, when no one is looking, Brahms moves. Malcolm is shocked, but convinced, and stays with Greta that night. The two begin having an intimate moment, but their activity is stopped by Brahms playing loud music. Malcolm realizes that Greta is getting attached to Brahms. He warns her by disclosing a more detailed story surrounding Brahms' death. Brahms used to play with another girl of his age named Emily. On Brahms' eighth birthday, Emily went to play with Brahms in the Hilshire mansion and never returned. Her body was later discovered in the woods with her skull fractured. When the cops arrived at the mansion to question the young boy, it was already burning down and Brahms was presumed killed in the fire. With this, Malcolm concludes that Brahms' spirit could possibly be evil. In the morning, Greta's abusive ex-boyfriend Cole shows up at the mansion, intending to force Greta back home. For Greta's safety, Malcolm stays nearby. At night, Greta asks the doll for help. Cole wakes up and sees a message written in blood telling him to leave, believing it was done by either Greta or Malcolm. Greta tries explaining to him that it was Brahms, but he refuses to believe her. Malcolm tries to convince Cole that there's a lot more to the doll than meets the eye. Cole gets a fit of anger and he smashes the doll to pieces. This is when the lights in the house start to flicker. The house begins to shake and they hear noises behind the walls. Cole tries to figure out where the noise is coming from. Then suddenly the mirror explodes. Through a hole in the wall emerges a man who turns out to be the real, now adult Brahms, wearing a porcelain mask, identical to the doll's face. Brahms beats Cole and kills him. Malcolm and Greta are frightened and run for safety. Greta and Malcolm discover Brahms' room. They find a doll made from Greta's missing dress, hair, and jewelry. From that room, Brahms has been watching Greta all this time. Greta also finds the goodbye letter from the Hilshers, revealing their plan of leaving Greta behind as a mate for Brahms. Brahms finds them and knocks out Malcolm, threatening to kill him if Greta leaves. Greta is able to escape the house, but returns to save Malcolm. Arming herself with a screwdriver, she invokes the rules and forces Brahms to bed. He asks for a goodnight kiss. When he tries to kiss her, she stabs him. Brahms tries to choke her, but she pushes the weapon in deeper, and he collapses. Greta rescues Malcolm, and they escape the house. In the closing scene of the film, Brahms can be seen putting pieces of the doll back together, suggesting that he is probably still alive. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this recap, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Welcome to Movies We Love Recapped. Today